My name is Curtis Moore. I am a cardiology fellow at UT Southwestern, and I am a black man in a white coat. You're gonna be doing an eight flutter ablation? Right now, I'm trained to be an electrophysiologist, basically take care of electricity in the heart. Yes, sir, so we'll give you some medications that keep Every day I go to work, I feel like I make a patient's life better. Being an African-American doctor is not unusual. We want the same things for our patients as anybody else wants. I want people to understand that they can do it too. And it's not something that should be an aberration, it should be the norm. Where I'm from is an important story. It's part of the fabric of me. And without that, I'm not the man I am. My biggest influence was my mother. She was a nurse. I had an African-American pediatrician. I had an African-American dermatologist. She made sure I saw people who were doctors, so I knew that I could become a doctor. I can demonstrate the most important thing to my parents. Everything else came secondary. My dad's a pastor. He preached in the inner city of Indianapolis. Most of the African-Americans that I knew were from the inner city, and it's difficult to take care of yourself every day, let alone worry about taking care of your grades. So unfortunately, most of them weren't able to get to college and uh, do anything beyond just high school. You don't see anybody achieving. You think that your ceiling is lower than it really is. And really, you can do anything you want to do, because all people really need is a helping hand, a little bit of help when they're in that situation. People in my environment always encouraged me. I want to pursue it more so I can give back. And I think that everybody has their challenges because everybody has something they have to deal with. When I was in 11th grade, I was in an honors class. I remember the teacher asked me, you know, what are, what are you doing here? You're the first African-American kid we've had in the you know, honors calculus. And I could let her discourage me, but I didn't. When you stop dreaming, when you stop pushing, you get bitter, you get upset. I was on a resident and I was running to a code and I ran into the nurse station and said, hey, where's the patient? And they're like, oh, are, you're a doctor? It's just a conception that everybody has when you're young and you're black that you're, you're not the doctor. We have to change that. A lot of times young men get discouraged. And I think that by having examples, they can understand that, look, we all falter. You don't train for 20 years and not have some bad days, some bad semesters, but you can get through it. When your friends are going out to the parties, stay home and study. When people are making fun of you because you're getting the good grades in school, you have to be okay with that. You have to say, you know what, I'm gonna buckle down anyways. That's what you have to do to make it. Being African-American is a great thing. It's a great culture, a great history. I mean, you can be whatever you wanna be. Don't ever let anybody hold you back or tell you any differently. And hopefully when you attain something, you look back and you reach back and you pull somebody else up. And I think if you're proud of who you are, that you'll be successful. I am a young man who is trying to do the best he can to help the world become a little better place.